there's a lot of similarities between hunting and photography, except for the animal. Kathy Illig and Sean Fitzgerald are hoping to bag a trophy buck and snake and caterpillar. Don't move. They are just two of 17 professional photographers competing in the Images for Conservation Tournament, a contest promoting nature tourism as a way to protect Texas lands and the wildlife that live here. Come on, turkey, come this way. 94% of Texas lands are privately owned, and uh, you know I'm just in mortal fear that they're all going to turn into these little ranchettes, and all this beautiful, amazing land is going to get hacked up, and we'll lose the core of Texas, the soul of Texas. Texas without wildlife is, is not Texas anymore. Hi, sweetie. Each photographer is paired with a landowner and has one month to take pictures. The teams hope to share a piece of the $160,000 in total prize money. This could be a financial lifesaver to ranchers like John Kothman. This land was purchased by my grandfather in 1909, and we would like to keep ownership of it. The hard part is, uh, is being able to generate income and and develop uh, a livelihood for you and your family from the land without altering the permanent nature of the land. The contest hopes to develop a relationship between landowners and photographers, many of whom, like hunters, are willing to pay for access to wild animals. If I can start generating income from my ranch to pay for my ranch expenses and allow me to further enhance my property to the benefit of wildlife, that's a that's a win-win situation. Hopefully, watching Kathy and Sean reap the rewards of their passion, others will be inspired to pull out their point-and-shoot cameras to snap some memories of their own. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Lydia Saldana.